Then now I can show you a better view. The sun is out and so is the security. Let me show you the scene around the criminal courthouse here. Well, Mr. Trump is at Trump Tower here in Midtown. He'll be making his way down in just a few hours, but they have been ready for him with security and the barricades out, especially with the media presence for the last few hours. Well, his fate is uh, in the hands of a judge. Two separate cases in two states. The case in New York regarding his hush money criminal case, which may go to trial next month. The case was the first case to have the president criminally charged. The judge is set to rule on some pretrial issues ahead of its March 25th start date. In that case, the judge will try Trump on charges he falsified business records regarding hush money payments made to a porn star in 2016. Trump's lawyers are asking to dismiss the case entirely, which would be the first criminal trial for the former president. And in Georgia now, lawyers for Trump are looking to disqualify the top prosecutors overseeing their election interference case after the duo's alleged romantic relationship came to light in court filings. The question is if their relationship tainted the charging of Trump and 18 others over their efforts to undo the 2020 vote count in Georgia. If the district attorney is disqualified under Georgia law, all the attorneys in her office also are disqualified. So the case comes to a complete halt. Uh, and then there's a process where a state agency has to appoint a special prosecutor, uh, which could mean considerable delay. And then that special prosecutor is going to take a fresh look at everything. And that special prosecutor, who'd be appointed by our state government, um, might decide to uh, reduce some of the charges or dismiss some of the charges or dismiss the whole case. And one more legal tidbit here in New York. We're still waiting on Judge Arthur Engoron to decide how much Trump and the Trump Organization would have to pay in a penalty for inflating the cost of his business empire. That is a civil case that could cost Trump millions. We're live in Lower Manhattan. I'm Kalorama, PIX11 News.